Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a very important question that is, uh, how much does the cloud engineer make? So in today's video, you're going to get a good understanding like as an entry level, in mid level or at a senior level, how much does the cloud engineer could make? So uh, in today's video, we'll discuss about the salaries and beside that, uh, I'll also discuss uh, the skill sets that will require you to upskill your uh, earning potential so today's video will be very interesting so after watching today's video you will have a complete understanding about the salary range of a cloud engineer from the starting entry level to mid level to the senior level or experience level so uh, before starting the video i just want to talk about myself well i'm arif i do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cyber security i hold multiple certification in aws azure google cloud and beside that i also hold cissp and ccsp certification so uh, this channel is all about cloud computing cyber security and career it related tips so if you're interested in this field this channel is definitely for you i'm gonna upload a lot of videos related to this topic so please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos so without further delay let's dive in so before starting to talk about the salaries first let's discuss what actually a cloud engineer does so whenever we're referring to a cloud engineer uh, the main tasks are to uh, deploy an application to the cloud environment you have to uh, manage the cloud infrastructure you have to uh, make sure that the security part of the cloud infrastructure is all okay and uh, there is also a lot of uh, tasks related to data analytics related, related to um, uh, iot so there are many multiple job roles as a cloud engineer we can uh, name uh, few we can uh, definitely uh, list uh, cloud solutions architect cloud devops engineer cloud system administrator or cloud uh, security expert so there are multiple paths in cloud computing and whenever we're talking about cloud uh, service or cloud providers the top three names that always comes to our mind is uh, uh, the first one is aws which is amazon web service the second one is uh, microsoft azure and the third one is uh, a google cloud so these three are the industry leaders in cloud computing era so uh, if you know these three cloud that means you are all good so let's start with the entry level salary uh, as a cloud engineer so as a entry level cloud engineer you uh, can expect to earn in between 70,000 to $90,000 per year uh, is a uh, quite a good amount of money as entry level and uh, for that you need to have few things uh, to get a cloud job because uh, uh, right now the market in market there are a lot of jobs but also there are a lot of uh, competitions too so if you really want to stand out you need to have few things so I'll highly suggest you to get uh, some certification to uh, related to the cloud platform uh, so whenever we're talking about certification as I mentioned earlier that uh, 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 cloud computing uh, when we're talking about cloud computing aws azure Ac and google cloud are the industry leaders so if you can get certification in these three fields it will make your life way way easier it will make your job hunting process very easy because just think about it uh, so as an entry-level uh, engineer as entry-level position multiple people will apply for the job after finishing the their studies and uh, uh, if you one of them and you do have the certification uh, uh, and you attach the certification when you applied for the job so guess what you will definitely get the advantage so for that reason uh, I would highly suggest you to get a certification so once uh, uh, you are done with your studies and uh, you are exposed in cloud uh, computing field and you want to build a career uh, in cloud computing field then definitely you should go for the certification and uh, for the certification that's a one thing and this is certification one more thing that will help you to get uh, an entry level job in cloud computing is that hands-on experience a uh, good question could be like uh, as an entry-level uh, person like uh, without a prior knowledge how can I get those hands-on experience well um, if you explore uh, AWS Google Cloud Microsoft Azure websites there are tons of workshops that are provided uh, free uh, free of cost so you can just uh, try to do those workshop from there you will have uh, those uh, hands-on experience which will be vital for your job role so it will help to make sure that that you not only know stuff uh, from the bookish knowledge you also uh, did some projects and contributed to some projects which are also real-time uh, thing so it will be really helpful for you to land a job in a cloud engineer so uh, 
one suggestion in uh, in here is that uh, uh, the starting is the always the hardest part so if you you ask me like what is the hardest uh, which one is hardest to get an entry-level position job a mid-level position job or a senior or experience level job uh, my answer would be definitely entry level because in entry level uh, the competition is huge because a lot of people will apply for those other jobs and uh, you really need to stand out for that reason you have to uh, do some uh, uh, prior work you have to go for the certification you have to do some workshop you have to uh, work on some uh, real-time projects and uh, you really need to know the uh, console the uh, the uh, the cloud provider services that are popular so uh, for that I would highly suggest you if you want to build a career in cloud and enter in the job market please uh, do your homework all right so after the entry-level job once you have three to five years of experience in cloud computing then you are ready to apply for the mid-level job so for mid-level jobs uh, now as uh, you have the experience and stuff now you'll be more confident that's for sure and uh, in the meantime uh, in the three years uh, you should definitely get few more certification at least three to five certification under your belt which will showcase that yes you have utilized this time frame whenever you're working for another project and you have gained some uh, more skills related to cloud computing uh, services so once you have the certification then you have to work on your resume uh, in resume or CV whenever you are uh, uh, listing your job experience for each and every job there should be a description like what what specific thing you have achieved throughout this uh, three to five years and try to come up with some uh, uh, numbers so if maybe you have solved this problem you have done a cost optimization which helped our organization to uh, save uh, this amount of money so this is one of the example because uh, it's very easy to understand and whenever you uh, they will see the impact that uh, you had in your previous job they will be excited yes this person is uh, real knowledgeable and he has or she has already proven um, uh, the the skills that uh, they know so this is very important so whenever you are creating a cv at a mid level uh, cloud engineer as a mid level cloud engineer you have to make sure that you are highlighting your core skill set your certification your achievements and uh, and the job that you're going to apply to, please try to go through the uh, keywords for the jobs and uh, try to do a cross mapping with your CV, whether your CV also has those specific uh, keywords, because uh, it will make sure that you are knowledgeable to that particular services that they are requiring you to know. So uh, please do that. And once you have this, and one more thing you can uh, do uh, uh, when you are preparing for a, a mid-level cloud engineer jobs is that uh, uh, make sure your LinkedIn profile is top-notch you need to make sure your LinkedIn profile is uh, uh, well up to date all the certification that you have achieved are listed on the LinkedIn profile uh, also all the skills all the projects that you have worked on you have to uh, uh, write it down on the uh, under the description section and uh, try to get some recommendations from your colleagues uh, from your senior uh, manager that uh, uh, will showcase that uh, you had a positive impact in your previous organization so your next potential employer will be really happy to see that so they will trust you a little bit more so i always do that so uh, this is a, a very good way to earn the trust of your future potential employer so that's my suggestion for you to apply for a, a mid-level job uh, in cloud computing and uh, salary negotiation whenever you're doing a, a applying for a mid-level job you have the breathing room to do the negotiate cut now you have the experience so uh, tr uh, try to be more bold and straightforward like how much uh, uh, money you are expecting from the job and once you get your uh, 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 dream job offer just uh, grab it and about the salary how much uh, the current market place is uh, offering to a mid-level uh, uh, cloud engineer is in between 100k to 100 uh, 40k so if you are getting a salary package in between this uh, range then uh, you are definitely in a good spot 
All right, so once you have uh, more than seven years of experience in cloud computing, you are ready to apply for the senior level jobs. By now, you will be a wizard in cloud computing. You will have all those knowledge, you know, multiple frameworks, you know how to deploy application, you know uh, how to read an architecture, deploy it, manage it, uh, the security aspects of it, you are also familiar with everything. So now the market value for you uh, is uh, to the roof. Um, if we compare uh, the current job market uh, for a senior level cloud uh, engineer, you can easily make uh, more than uh, f from 150 to $200,000 or in some cases you can earn uh, some crazy amount of money because there is always exception. And uh, for that, uh, for applying these sort of jobs for senior level jobs, uh, you need to prove your uh, skill set. So by now you should have uh, uh, multiple uh, certification on uh, not only one cloud platform, you should have a multi-cloud uh, certification. You should have AWS, Azure, Google Cloud certifications for sure. And by now you should uh, uh, have a specific roadmap. So uh, mid-level, uh, till mid-level it's okay to know all this stuff, but when you're applying for a senior level cloud engineer jobs, you must have to have the career path in a cloud. You can uh, choose your career path as a solutions architect or as a DevOps engineer or as a system administrator or as a cloud security expert. So it's up to you which career path you choose, but uh, you have to choose the specialized uh, path. Without that, uh, uh, you can't uh, move uh, forward because uh, once you reach that level, by then you should choose uh, the most uh, compelling uh, career path for you in cloud uh, cloud path. So, uh, so suppose if you choose uh, cloud security as your career path. So, uh, uh, beside this uh, vendor specific certification, you can also go for some vendor neutral cloud certifications such as CCSP, CISSP, CCSK. So. Uh, the learning path is uh, a never-ending process. So you have to learn, you have to make sure your uh, uh, LinkedIn profile is up to date, your CV is all up to date, and uh, uh, you are spending time to learn. So before we finish the video, I just want to uh, add a few more points. That is, uh, the current job market, uh, it's crazy. If uh, I search, so let me do one thing for you real quick. I have logged into my LinkedIn profile and if I go to this job section in here and uh, uh, let's try to search for jobs. So if I search for cloud, here you can see in just not in Canada, right now there are more than 12,706 jobs available. These are all listed in LinkedIn, just in one platform. If you think about it, if you uh, add LinkedIn, Indeed, and some other platform, so uh, the number of jobs in cloud computing is huge. So all you need to do to learn the technology, the cloud, the cloud providers, learn the uh, fundamentals of cloud, and uh, start your career as a cloud engineer. And uh, this uh, will change your uh, whole life because once you are in, that is very easy to uh, just uh, keep the momentum and keep learning and keep learning. And eventually you will uh, land uh, to your dream job. So uh, that's a summary of uh, cloud engineer salary range. So if you guys have any questions related to the topic that I have covered today, please let me know under this comment section and I will uh, explain that to you. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Our community is growing now. We are more than 1200 uh, people who are helping each other to uh, become a better IT professional, which is great. So if you want me to cover any specific topic related to IT, related to any sort of uh, uh, technologies, uh, please let me know under this comment section and I'm going to cover that for you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Um, well, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.